All right, in this second lecture of chapter one, we are going to study mobile system organization. We are going to focus, we are going to change our focus to mobile system from computer system, right? The mobile system organization. The mobile system is like a computer system where different components such as input, output, camera, storage, memory, RAM, ROM, battery, etc. are packed as one devices. Okay, they are packed together and integrating different components into a single chip it is known as system on a chip or in short it is soc what is soc soc means system on a chip what is the meaning the meaning is that different components are uh, integrated into a single chip right like the mobile phone okay and this is the mobile system organization. We have the uh, main component is the CPU. The CPU is the main component. In mobile, we have a communication processor. Okay, communication processor. We have application processor. And we also have external memory storage like uh, memory cards and we have internal storage like the random access memory and the read-only memory, okay? And <coughs> uh, mobile phones can receive calls through audio systems like the mic and the speakers. And we also have the power management system which include the battery, the charger, etc. And the mobile system also need RF, radio frequency transceiver. Transceiver means uh, uh, the sender and the receiver combined together. Okay, the transmitter and the receiver. So the, trans, the RF transceiver includes SIM. Do you know what is the full form of SIM in mobile phone? Can anyone tell me please? Anyone please? What is the full form of SIM in mobile phone? No one. Subscriber identity module. Subscriber identity module. Okay. And we also have the display system, which is which may be a touch screen or something like that. And we also have a camera unit. Okay, that's work closely with the APU application processing unit. This is the basic mobile system organization, and it is like uh, the the computer, right? The display system and the touch screen can be the input devices and the output devices as well, and um, the CPU is there the ram is there the rom is there and uh, this battery in computer also we have power supply and <laughs> the camera in computer also we have uh, camera so more or less it is the same that therefore we are going to study here also so mobile processor they are the brain of the smartphone and they are divided into cpu when we say cpu in mobile we are referring to the communication processing unit and it is divided uh, into apu also application processing unit the signal management contain the sim and the trans uh, the rf transceiver the codec system include the microphone and the speaker which we use for calling our friends, talking to their friends, etc. Alright, this is the mobile processor. And the mobile CPU is responsible for uh, making calls or receiving phone calls. Okay, mobile CPU. When we say mobile CPU, it is not the central processing unit. It is the communication processing unit. Okay, it works with RS transceiver with audio system. And the radio signal management unit is responsible for connecting SIM through its signal score. It may be 3G, 4G, 5G, etc. Okay. Here I give you some uh, pictures of mobile CPU. It, it is also manufactured by Intel, uh, Nvidia, Snapdragon from Dualcom and Samsung also manufacture it. Something like that. These are some of the mobile uh, processor. We also have APU. APU is responsible for controlling uh, all types of operations on mobile phone. 
because they look after all the mobile application mobile apps mobile games etc app you makes the mobile phone run faster and more efficient and it is like the graphic card in computer if there is no app your mobile functioning will be hamper or it may be slower okay only cpu is not enough in mobile i hope it's clear now let's talk about let's quickly talk about the display system in mobile phone and uh, it provides facilities such as touch sensitive interface or touch sensitive keyboards etc all right uh, just like computer monitor we are not learning computer monitor in details and uh, the, the the type of monitor can be lcd liquid crystal display lcd means liquid crystal display ips in plane switch in plane switch in plane switch all right and we also have oled oled means organic light emitted diodes okay organic light emitted diodes we also have a mole a mole stand for active matrix organic light emitting diode okay these are the different uh, technology available in the display system which are not included in the syllabus but i just put the picture and that's why i explained to you and the camera system the camera system in enable picture and video capture facilities it has image signal processor and that image signal processor help in instant image capture and high high resolution support megapixel mp means megapixel and image stabilization if you are your hands is moving also you can take good picture due to this image stabilization features it also have image enhancement image enhancement even though you are your image is not uh, so the real is not so good yeah image may be perfect right nowadays all the mobile phone comes with ai support ai support means if the background or the lighting systems is not that good the com the mobile phone will understand uh, by capturing its uh, environment and adjust accordingly okay and then accordingly we also have the mobile system memory it is the read only memory which we already learned in the uh, computer i think it's not uh, needed to uh, explain it again here but you have to know that uh, the rom have uh, pre-installed apps or the operating system what is mobile operating system what is very common mobile operating system nowadays android yes android android is very popular mobile operating system nowadays all the androids and the pre-installed applications are uh, resides here in the read-only memory so that even virus cannot destroy it right we also have ram random access memory and these are uh, all the install apps are loaded into ram and then executed when you try to open any games or any applications that application data will be loaded into random access memory so it is volatile and rom is non-volatile rom will be like this and ram computer ram will be like this but mobile ram will not be as big as this one okay now let's talk about storage device mobile phone support uh, expandable storage or memory cards right the memory cards which is a big one used in uh, digital cameras are full sd okay full sd and um, some old mobile phone may be using mini sd which is very big in size nowadays all our mobile phones are using micro sd okay micro sd uh, <sighs> these are the memory card now let's quickly go through the power management system in mobile phone we have a power management system known as the mobile battery okay mobile battery when i google it i found nokia battery but nokia company is no more nowadays okay and the mobile battery is uh, stored power for the mobile phone through the chargers and the capacity of the battery is indicated in terms of mah the bigger the mah of your mobile phone the <laughs> you can use it for more 
it will last longer okay mah means milli ampere per hour okay uh, currently i'm using 400 4000 mah mobile phone nowadays the new mobile phones comes with uh, 5000 mah okay 5000 mah will be much better and it you, know, you can use it for more without charging do you have any questions on this mobile system communication no sir sure.